Hey everyone, what is up? This is Steadfast2277. A little nervous for today's video. A little nervous because I noticed it up here that this fender flare here is moving. And I came in and I looked right here and it's all, um, where are we at here? And you can see how it's grooved in to the body of the truck. And that's no touch up paint repair. It's starting to rust too. And it looks like the fender's gotta get repainted. Um, I'm hoping that the back here isn't so bad because that's that's not good. I mean, there's a lot body line here, but it stops. So that's gonna be really tough to, to blend if I were to choose to do that myself. Let me come over here. Um, same thing with this one. Uh, but this one's sturdy, as so is the other one. Um, the only one that I was a little nervous about is the front driver's side. And then this passenger one here is sturdy as well. So fingers crossed, and I'm hoping that the only bad paint damage is that one fender, because it saves me a whole lot of money and time. So, I mean, it was just a little loose. And that's the cause of it. I know that if you have mud flaps on, they can... Like these ones that come up along the body and stuff. Yeah, there's potential of rust rotting out because it traps in moisture. Just like how um, fender flares do it. Because if you look, take a look at it, if I were to have a fender flare, right? It'd come on and come on over here and go all the way down. What people normally do is they get them to hide rot that's already there. But sometimes what they do is they put them on there because it looks cool. And I granted, I, it does. But, um... It traps in moisture and starts rotting out your, your uh, the body of the truck, the fender. So, I mean, there are pros and there's cons to it. I know some states, I know the state of Rhode Island, which is where I'm um, living in, requires you to, if your tire, if your tire comes out a certain past the fender, you have to have a mud flap or a um, fender flare to help prevent um, debris getting flown up and hitting them. Um, other drivers on the road. So I know that in this town, they're really strict about that. They'll pull you over and they'll just bust your balls for it. But so, I mean, let's get fingers crossed. Hopefully there's no much damage and let's get to it. All right guys, so all four fender flares are off and it is not looking good at all. So I came to find out the front driver had like a crap ton of leaves and dirt just chilling right here. And that's how it rots out. It's gonna start to rot. So good thing I removed that stuff. Um, so got all the fender flares off. I'm sorry, got all the mud flaps off. Um, the front one as expected has big gouge right there. Um, that cannot be buffed out. It's down to the metal. As you can see, it's starting to rust. Coming down to the back one. 
it just has a mark right here. Um, and it's not too bad, so that might be able to get buffed out. It doesn't feel it's too deep, um, but all set. It just needs to be washed. Coming on over to the passenger side, um, the bed side, it's just like it had, like the other side has the marks. Um, it's what I expected anyways. Um, just dirty there. Coming up to the front, um, just dirty. Um, more of a groove than anything. And it's complete outline of the mud flap itself and not looking good. So I don't want to put it back on high that I really don't. Um, another thing that I thought was a little ridiculous is you got these um, little bolts, right? That's not ridiculous at all. It's normal, right? But what Dodge did was they took Phillips screws to put these in. I don't know what right mind engineer thought it was a good idea to put Phillips screws where it's gonna rust. That's just a no-no. I mean, come on. That's how you strip shit out and it just doesn't come out. I just spray this with a uh, PB blaster and push and pull on the flap to get it even budge. It was just a pain in the ass. Complete dumb idea, completely. It's gonna rain, um, so it's probably not the best idea to wash the truck, but I wanna get that crap off it. So I'm gonna wash the truck, I'll get back on the film, I'll show you what it looks like, and let's get started. All right, I'm back. Truck's washed. I don't, uh... all right, let's check it out. All right. So it is scored all the way down. You can see that it just looks like ass. All right, this is the scary one. All right, guys, this is so bad. Look what it did. If we get in on that, if the camera will focus, there's actually rust. Starting to form, it's down to the very metal. It is down to the metal. Looks completely terrible. Why, 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 why? Moving on. All right. Now, onto this side, passenger side. Check this one out. It completely etched a complete outline of it. Like what? Why? Coming on to the back. Same here, like the front, it's like, like front, like back. Completely etched it, completely. So, looks like ass. It had to come off though, because I, I saw that and it's like, nope, mm -mm. I started starting to come off uh, so I can assess the condition and I assessed it and it looks so bad. So that's a quick tip for you guys, dude. If you're gonna put mud flaps on them, make sure it has like a rubber uh, grommet outline so that it doesn't score away at the paint on the truck. I mean, I don't even know what I can do because if you check this out, the body line ends so it doesn't like it goes all the way through. So I can shade. I don't know, I can't even blend that thing. I think the whole thing needs to get painted. Bedside needs to get painted. I mean, there are scratches on the bedside anyways, but I really wasn't looking to spend a whole ton of money by just taking off flares. So if you guys have any ideas, anything at all, please comment below. So thank you for watching. Um, Till next time. So next time, check back. Got a mod coming in right up onto the front of the truck. It's gonna look cool, good company, great company. Till next time, I'm Steadfast2277. Take care, have a great day, and subscribe.